two things. A few videos ago with my $600 gravel bike, I talked about how exciting this new budget-friendly bike and component world is. Going as far as to citing Microshift's new budget-friendly nine-speed mountain bike clutch group set. Perfect for one buys or perfect for a great entry-level option into great new style tech. All that just to get to the point where I wanted to say that I wanted to buy one of those derailers and try it with that eight-speed Claris group set that's on the bike. They say it won't work. That's point one. Point two, I bought one. Bonus point. Turns out Microshift makes a non-clutch version of this derailleur. I didn't believe it at first, but when I actually went and read it after, Now, I'm not particularly concerned about it because, because well, at this point, it's too late anyway, and shipping was just ungodly expensive. So for me to spend the money to ship it back and exchange it for the other one, and the price of the derailleur, I may as well just try this one and see if the indexing works. That's the biggest thing I'm worried about anyway. It's really nothing to look at. Um, stamp steel parts. Nothing looks like it's a machine other very exotic materials. It's not particularly light, but for a non-clutch version, the spring tension is still impressively strong. So, so if it does work, I think it still will hold more chain tension on the drivetrain than say what an eight-speed Claris would do. This is not going to work. Now before all of you start typing, all the information was there, it, it told you so, it wasn't going to work. I know, I know that. But for the price, no matter what it said, I couldn't help but curb that curiosity and just really see for myself how much it won't work with any other shifter than a micro shift. I just always have a hard time believing stuff like that. I guess in this case it's true. Simply put, for those of you who maybe don't understand exactly why a shifter, which should be the smart part of the system, can't exactly talk to a derailleur, which should be the stupid part of the system, and it not just work. And really what that comes down to is a difference of pull ratios between the two. You'd think that the shifter itself would kind of dictate how far a derailleur will move, and it sort of does, but based on the derailleur's design, it does need a specific pull ratio to pull the correct distance to make the right shifts. So what's going on here is this Claire shifter doesn't exactly have enough of a pull ratio to get the micro shift rear derailleur to shift up into the bigger cogs. Within two or three shifts, the lack of travel really becomes apparent and it won't shift up to the next biggest cog. It's a compounding problem as you are going up the cassette. The first three shifts are actually not bad, but uh, at the end of the day, not usable. So I guess at the end of the day, the new Microshift Advent rear derailleur, not the savior for my obsession with tinkering. Yeah, there's stuff out there so that you can actually adapt pull ratios or you can do things to try and make it work. As a matter of fact, I even took a file to this side of the derailleur to try and get the cable to pull a little more. It actually nestles in there not bad, but it didn't really give me the desired effect. In fact, all it did was mostly just add cable tension Messing about with a pull ratio to try and get half decent shifting can be fun, but it can also be very trial and error. And if you don't already have all the stuff, well then it just gets kind of expensive. And at that point, you will just buy the right part. The money and time I'd spend to find the parts to alter the pull ratio so this actually works half decent would just far outweigh the feasibility of using this. Even though I went into this knowing there's a very high probability of failure, I was somehow bummed that it didn't work out. Thankfully, it didn't cost very much at all. I actually don't really want to change this from a Shimano 8-speed really at all, so hopefully 
in typical Shimano fashion, all of the trickle-down technology makes its way to the 8-speed world as soon as possible. Because I have a feeling that clutch-style Altegra 11-speed also isn't going to work with this setup. So Shimano, just skip all the other road group sets, immediately go to Claris 8-speed and build a Claris 8-speed rear derailleur with a clutch. That's what I want. Build that. Do that for me. Please. You might be wondering why my shirt changed. I shot all of this originally on Tuesday and went to go edit it that night. Um, I wanted to call this episode Tinker Tuesday because it was going to be a short, fun video. Um, when I got inside, turns out my SD card was full about halfway through shooting the entire thing. So I had to come back out tonight and reshoot it all. Thankfully, I hadn't swapped back to the Claris rear derailleur yet, so I was able to easily pick up from where I was. 